Good evening and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and I'm so happy to be back after three long weeks. With spring break, I think it like stressed me out to the point where I got sick and then life stuff happened. So I have been like literally all over the place. But in the meantime, when that was all going on, I had a bunch of wax. I did put them kind of to the side and I, you know, I tend to double wrap everything. But I have not, you know, smelt these things really. But anyway, to start my welcome back video, we are going to do a Southbound and British Custom Mini Haul. So the first thing is the Southbound. And I got like two little samples. So the first one is a strawberry cheesecake and cinnamon roll. So I don't really know how I feel about strawberries and cinnamon just off the first glance. But let's smell it. And it does smell good. Like, you get that kind of hint of strawberry, but for me, it kind of smells like a cookie. And this one says, strawberries, creamy cheesecake, fresh baked cinnamon rolls topped with sweet frosting. Yeah, it's like very cookie-esque to me. And it's shaped like a little cinnamon roll. I mean, it's good. I definitely have to see how it is when I worm it, but I think I would actually get this one again. So the next one that I got as a sample, I actually thought about getting, but because I'm trying to like cut back, I have so much wax and I don't know how I'm going to move it all. Um, I decided against it. I only picked out like my two favorites really and one to try. But this one is Summer Snow Cone. So many people raved about this one. It's Blue Raspberry Snow Cones, Mountain Dew, and Fresh Squeezed Raspberry Lemonade. So I think this is going to be like a fruity, fizzy scent. And it's actually really cute because they're like little popsicles. Oh wait, I'm covering the popsicle sticks, but look at these. Absolutely adorable and oh my goodness. That lemonade smells so good. It's actually making me kind of thirsty. So yeah, you get that blue or blue raspberry lemonade-y. Definitely a little fizzy. Fantastic. It's definitely something I'm gonna have to like look towards next time. Kind of sad I didn't get it, but that's okay. When you're forced to like cut back a bit, you got to make the decisions and get, you know, what you feel good with at the moment. You can always go back later. So that one I'm excited to melt and I did get two pieces, so it's going to fill my room quite nicely. So my wild card is called Island in the Sun. It's Sicilian, Mandarin, Grapefruit, Bergamot, Citrus, Wood, Oak Moss, Musk, and Sugar Lemons. So this one is like very citrusy. I do love my citrus. I'm definitely a citrus girl. So let me just pull this out. It is gorgeous. I don't know I'm going to get that back in while I'm talking to you guys, but that's okay. I'll just put it aside and do it later. But look at that. Oh my goodness. It is so beautiful. It's actually quite heavy. And yeah, that bergamot kind of smells like masculine. It is really good. And I've been enjoying masculine in my room. It was a pharmacist's daughter scent. I forgot what it's called. That Summer gave me and it's really nice. But yeah, anyway, back to this. For me, yeah, the bergamot stands out. I don't know if I get that apparent citrus note from it. But yeah, definitely bergamot and musk. And oak moss, that is oak moss, I believe, because I had another scent with oak moss and it did smell kind of like this. But this one's really good. It's nice and big, so I'm going to just put this aside for now and put it back later. All right. I'm going to leave that one for last. The next one I have is marshmallow bunnies. I wanted kind of an Eastery feels. This one is creamy whipped marshmallow cream, marshmallow fluffy crispies, and sugar crystal. So Easter kind of just snuck up on me. I did not know it's going to be next Sunday. Oh, I'm not actually prepared. But anyway, I had to use like two little bags for these, but check it out. I had another one here too. So this is like how much you got in a pack and you can see the cute little bunnies. They're very glittery. Let me do this one. This one has a bunny at the top, so... And oh yeah, this is like a really good marshmallow scent. I like that a lot. It's very creamy. 
It's like not a strong rice crispy cereal-y scent. You know, like Fruit Loops, but it is so good. I'm so glad I got a bakery bag of this. I wouldn't mind a loaf, but I think the bakery bags are just a little bit easier to deal with, personally. I did get a loaf of this one, though. Not gonna lie. It is firecracker. So one of the first wax, I guess, vendor wax things I got was actually d Stash from Carly, and she sent me the firecracker, and I was absolutely obsessed. I told everybody about it. I told Summer about it, and we just I just had to buy it again. This one is Blackberry Jam, Palo Santo, and sh Super Sugar Cookie Blend. Ooh, super, super Sugar Cookie Blend. And yes, the Blackberry Jam. Oh my goodness, it's like a warm, toasty blackberry. This is like so good, and it's even better on warm. Like, it just pops. Absolutely love it. This one, unfortunately, will not be used anytime soon. I did get this one specifically for when I like, travel. You can just bring it with me to Canada. It's going to be fantastic. I do have a little bit left of my bakery bag. So, at least I got that to hold me over. All right, well, that is all for my southbound. Now, let's get to the... Even more exciting. Not that Southbound isn't exciting, but it's my customs. So, the first thing I got was a sample of Grandpa's house. I did get this as a sample last time, so now I have like three little pieces. And it is a good scent. Yeah, that tobacco in Bay is not as like scary as I thought tobacco would be. I don't really know what that barbershop 1920s is supposed to smell like, but, but it's good. You get that kind of like nutty, caramely praline in there as well. It was a nice little sample. I personally do not want a lot of this, but I'm happy to have those little bits. All right. So right after um, Christmas, Britta had an RTS and I was waiting, waiting, waiting for this set. It's Christmas Eve, you know. I was a little bit sad that I didn't get, but I was happy that everyone ended up, you know, purchasing it that wanted it. And I said, I'm just going to wait for custom. And it is Christmas Eve. Oh my goodness. It is one of my favorite tree scents. It's Fraser Fir Danish Butter Cookies and Sugar Cookie. Let's see. I think this was like the first time I fell in love with like Fraser Fir too. And oh my goodness, the sugar cookies with the tree, it's outstanding. Like, I did not think I was a tree girl, but you know, apparently I am. And I'm okay with that because now I got a bunch of this scent to hold me over. All right. So anyway, that was my first custom and it was called Christmas Eve. Now that that's done, the other one I wanted to add with Palo Santo. Now, she has, I believe, a four or three, three or four cent limit. And she told me that I could not get it with Palo Santo, but that's okay because I can just add it. We can blend here. We are blenders. So it is called Deadly Potion. Beautiful. It was the first scent I fell in love with at Brita's, and after that, I was sold. This one is sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, and fire roasted marshmallows. Now this scent filled my whole house, like the foyer, the downstairs living room, the kitchen. It spread so wide. And oh my goodness, for good reasons. That toasty cookie scent, absolutely fantastic. I love fire roasted marshmallows. I'm so happy to have this. With or without Palo Santo, it is just so good. All right, so I'm gonna just tuck that down there. Now my last one, I don't know. I was just very, very inspired. One of my favorite things in the summertime is watermelon. So I definitely had to make a watermelon custom. And this one is 
cashmere cream, watermelon tea, and cakes. Tea and cakes with like really fruity scents is just so good. And oh my goodness, this is like the best watermelon scent ever. Oh, I could just have this on all day. That cashmere cream with watermelon tea and cakes is so good. So I like to call this Nora or Watermelon Dreams slash Screams, depending on the time of the year. But it is watermelon, cashmere cream, tea, and cakes. I just like inhaled some of that wax, but that is okay. And oh my goodness, this is like literally one of the best things I've ever smelled. It like skyrocketed on the top of my list. So I am very happy to have it. I hope that, you know, she pours it for everybody, but it's okay if she doesn't because I have the recipe and I will definitely be ordering more when I run out. But anyway, that is my welcome back haul, guys. I know it's kind of small, but I hope you enjoy. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.